Yes, sir. Look, if there's anything that this election showed me, is this that the so-called black community just don't know who they really are. They're stuck on this democratic plantation. And at the end of the day, if they're willing to break bonds with you over Democratic or Republican, so be it. A lot of us need to return back to the most high, but a lot of us are supporting all these other demographics because we're globalists at heart. I'm speaking to the majority, not myself. I'm talking about all these pro-black liberals and all these people that you're seeing on TV crying about the fucking white man all damn day to where this fucking clown Van Jones is on CNN crying like a damn bitch. If you're a so-called black man, you got to be looking at this man like he's a fucking pathetic. And this is the example. You got to understand that perception is reality. So this man is on TV crying for fucking Joe Biden, who's been put in the way so-called black man since he fucking signed that crime bill. Meanwhile, the other side was allowing those people early releases. At the end of the day, you're choosing one slave master over the other. The system was created by Caucasians. So you pro-blacks, how the fuck is a system that was not created by you? How are you going to keep fighting and keep supporting it to your benefit when it's been your detriment since the day it began? We're sitting here talking about Democratic or Republican when we need to return to the most high in the first place. You keep looking at the government as your religion and the white man as your fucking God. And it's fucking despicable. Because at, at the end of the day, they're looking at it as the whole black collective. We keep talking about black votes. Go out and vote. Go out and vote. The same rhetoric that we hear every fucking four years. Meanwhile, nothing has ever changed. If you want somebody to do something for you, nothing will ever change. I'm trying to understand how all these so-called pro-blacks who claim about white supremacy, white privilege, is going to keep crying to the white man with the privilege to give him a fucking hand-me-down. It's never going to go down like that. The Chinese come over here. They come over here with a culture. They support each other. They don't give a fuck about voting. They have the lowest voting turnout out of all vote out of all demographics. But nobody is talking about getting the Chinese vote. You know why? Because they know that they don't need them. The China, and that goes on both ends. It's all about quid pro quo. But on the black end, they always get left with the short end of the stick when it comes down to these elections. But then they still find hope in another fucking four years. That's the definition of insanity. There's not another definition for it. We're on the fucking hamster wheel going nowhere fast, talking about this year will be different. This is the most important election of our lives. And it's a bunch of fucking jargon, man. Let's see this fucking pitiful performance because it looks like he's going for an Emmy, whatever the fuck, man. But this shit is pathetic. And this is the main reason why the so-called black man, mainly at a heterosexual black man, is on the bottom of the totem pole because of fucking dimwits like this. Dan, what are your thoughts? <clears throat> it's, um... Well, it's easier to be a parent this morning. It's easier to be a dad. It's easier to, it's easier to tell your kids character matters. It matters. Telling the truth matters. Being a good person matters. Goddamn shame this dude is shedding tears on live TV talking about it's easier to be a parent. Ain't nothing get easier for you, my man. You're still sold out. You're still getting bent over behind closed doors, man. Get the fuck out of here. And it's easier for a whole lot of people. If you're Muslim in this country, you, you, you don't have to worry if the president doesn't want you here. If you're an immigrant, you don't have to worry if the president's going to be happier to have babies snatched away or this is fucking nonsense. Just like I told you, they're all globalists looking to hold hands with everybody at the end of the day. But I guarantee you, none of these other demographics are shedding a fucking tear when they see a goddamn cop shoot down a so-called black man, man. I promise you.
That's another story, but we got to understand, we got to stop worrying about everybody else but ourselves. How the fuck is a white man going to save you when you're not even trying to save your own fucking community? You're never addressing so-called black-on-black crimes when that's the biggest fucking problem. The cops are not a top 10 problem when it comes to so-called black people. This motherfucking coon is a top 10 problem, period. Back for no reason. It's a vindication for a lot of people who have really suffered. You know, the, the I can't breathe. You know, that wasn't just George Floyd. That was a lot of people that felt that they couldn't breathe. Every day you're waking up and you're getting these tweets and you just don't know, and you're going to the store, and, and people who have been afraid to show their racism are getting nastier and nastier to you, and you're worried about your kids. <laughs> oh, my goodness, yo. If anything, it's the fucking total opposite. If I'm going anywhere and not bumping to fucking Caucasians, they're showing me that goddamn quote-unquote white guilt, and it's fucking pathetic on their end also because it's just an awkward situation because we're fucking pathetic on this end because we're sitting here on our knees begging for fucking acceptance from the white man. Like, And then at the other end, they're showing all these killings from the hands of a white man. Now they feel white guilt. Yo, it's all a nasty equation, and it's all nonsense, man. And you're worried about your sister. And, and can she just go to Walmart and, and get back into the, her car without somebody saying something to her? And, 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 and you spent so much of your life energy just trying to hold it together. Yo, is this the 1960s or 2020, man? I, I'm trying to understand this shit, yo. Where is it that people go into Walmart and they can't get back to the car without somebody saying something to them, man? They just make up a bunch of fucking nonsense, man, to perpetuate these bullshits to the masses, yo. It's crazy. And this is a big deal for us just to be able to get some peace. And, 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 and have it. We'll never get peace in this land, man. This is not our land. We are not in rulership. How the fuck are we going to be at peace when there's a Caucasian man in rulership, dude? It will never happen in this lifetime. It's for, for, for a reset. And, and the character of the country matters. And, 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 and being a good man matters. I, you know, I just want my son to, to look at this. Look at this. You know, it's easy to, to, to do. And you got sons? Man, if I was your son, man, I'd be shaking my fucking head. Because I know dudes are going to clown me whenever they see me on the streets or whatever, man. Because this is fucking pathetic. The cheap way. And, 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 and get away with stuff. But it comes back around. It comes back around. And it's a good day for this country. I, I'm sorry for the people who lost. I, for them, it's not a good day. But for a whole lot of people, it's a good day. Yo, this is terrible, man. And it's very fucking sad that you got sons. This is why it's important in the so-called black community that we need strong male figures in our lives. Not little fucking bitches that's on TV crying about the white man becoming president, yo. This is a fucking abomination, dude. You can't be allowing these type of dudes to be raising sons like this, man. They're going to be raising sons to be worshiping fucking white men, worrying about white privilege, all this nonsense that's been going on instead of building inside their own community, talking about so-called black businesses, shit like that. Return to the most high. Stop rejecting your God. Stop getting down with all these other cultures. Man, there's bigger problems than the fucking president. This dude is a joke.